Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Tonight we are unboxing the Hot Topic exclusive Steampunk Batman. Uh, this one came out a few years ago, but yeah, this one is really, really cool. I have an interesting story to how I got this one uh, back in the day. It was it was an, an interesting interaction, I will say that, but I'll go into that a little bit further uh, when we unbox him together. But yeah, this one is really, really cool. I'm really glad and very lucky actually that I got my hands on this one. Again, I'll explain why later. So, so cool. Let's take a look at the back of this. Oh, nice. Very cool. See, I feel like this pop came out in like the last two years. I it, I know it didn't, but I'm saying I feel like if it actually did, um, it would have had like some writing here on the back. Um, I, a lot of pops now tend to have a little bit, somewhat of a bio um, as to the characters. I'm, I'm more speaking to the Marvel 80 year ones. I don't know if the Batman ones, I can't, rec I don't think they do. The Batman ones don't have any like description on the back. So maybe not, but I do feel like there's a chance that there would have been like some type of description, some type of story on the back. Um, I'm actually surprised that Funko hasn't done that, especially with the ones that don't have like a whole bunch of characters that you can buy. I'm surprised that most of them don't come with like little story pieces on the back. I think it'd be kind of interesting. All right guys, without further ado, let's get right into this. He was about $15, I think at the time that I bought him. Actually, no, he was twelve fifty. Okay, so I'm gonna say later in the video that he was fifteen. I shoot this part last, so he was twelve fifty. Uh, so disregard whatever you hear later about him being fifteen. He was twelve. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's get into this. Here we go. Steampunk Batman. All right, guys. So here we have the Hot Topic exclusive Steampunk Batman out of his box, looking super cool he kind of gives me like penguin vibes am i the only one that's getting like a few penguin vibes from him just a little now what made this one kind of interesting for me when i got it was that um i remember going into hot topic and there was a person there buying out the entire stock back then you could buy the entire stock in like one sale um but he tried to buy the entire stock of them and i happened to get my hands on one before he could and the guy was just really upset about it. He was like, I guess I'll let you have this one, but you know, I wasn't gonna give it to you. And I was like, well, it's kind of not yours to give or not give. So um, luckily they changed that policy now because that was a terrible policy um, where someone could just kind of come in. I believe they changed it, I believe they have. Where someone can kind of come in and just buy your entire stock of something in one purchase and it came out that day. I understand if it was out for like a few days, That'd be one thing, but in one day, like in the first couple of hours that you have it, that should never ever be a thing. It just shouldn't. It, it really just should not. Like if you have 30 pieces of a, of, of a Funko, then there's no reason why all 30 are getting bought in one sale. Like you will make your money in, in those, in that transaction at some point in that day. Like I've seen it happen, I've seen it happen. So giving away 30 pieces, when your store has just opened, kind of ridiculous. And I hope that's a policy that no one has anymore because it's just, it's not necessary. Not to me. Him to the side. Yeah, he just looks really, really fresh. Um, this is um, Arkham Knight in the background. If you haven't played those games, definitely recommend playing them. They are super fun games. Uh, I, I love the fighting style. Yeah, I feel like each game just gets better, which I guess is the whole point. Like, I guess, you know, as time moves on, your games should get better but yeah this i mean the, the original game was great and everything after it just became so much better i like his earpieces here because they're so they're really high they're very tall nice. okay we have him to the back very cool 
I like the cape. Again, the cape is a little bit different from some of the other capes that I've seen so far, which is kind of nice. You know, you want to you want to change that up. You don't want it to always be like, like I said before, like a copy and paste because it doesn't feel as authentic and original. And I like that they didn't do that. Yeah, he just looks super cool. Really like it. Um, there's not too, too much going on in the back, but he still looks great. Here he is to the other side. Yeah, again, I mean, he just looks really, really cool. And you can see how huge, like, the ears, the ear pieces on his helmet are, his mask are. They look so, so cool. Um, I really like that. I find him a little less flashy than the other Batman Pops, but still really, really cool. Like, there's something unique about him. He holds his own, but he's just a little less flashy to me. But he's, I want to say he came out a lot earlier than some of the other Batman Funko Pops. So that's probably what it is. All right, here we have my boy back to center. Again, looking super fresh. I really like this version of Batman, the steampunk version. Very, very cool. Like I said, um, you know, the front is is really nice looking pop in the front. Um, the rest of it is, not, it's not as flashy, like I said, as a regular Batman pop, but the front facing is really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna kind of get a little more of a close up on the mask and everything, just to make sure I haven't missed any details. Um, I do like the side here. It's kind of interesting how the top of his like cape works. Very cool. Let's look underneath. Just wanna make sure that I'm not missing anything about this pop. And it looks like I think everything pretty much got covered. Um, but yeah, I mean, he looks really, really cool. Um, I think he was about $15 when I first got him because he was a Hot Topic exclusive um, at the time. And those, like at one point, they were a little more expensive than your regular Funko Pops. But I think that's changed a little bit over time. Not every exclusive will cost you $15. This one in particular just happened to cost me 15 bucks. All right, guys, thank you so much for all of your likes, your follow, subscribes. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, you guys know what to do. Make sure to subscribe. Also, ring that bell for notifications. So anytime I have a brand new video, you guys are notified about it. And please leave me a nice big like. It lets me know you guys like what I'm doing. We're going to be getting into anime pretty soon. But before then, I'm going to be unboxing two X-Men Pops. That'll be Rogue and Gambit that will come after the Batman week is over. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.